Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Stock Navigators and this is a weekly market for the week of May 1st, 2022. The uh, market action on Friday uh, continued to decline following the earnings release from Apple and Amazon. As you can see, Apple beat the earnings estimate for the first quarter of this year, but announced that they expected the headwind from the virus lockout in China they could cut an estimated about four to eight billion dollars for the next quarter. So if you look at the chart of Apple in the long term, uh, chart is still bullet, but in the short term, uh, you have some uh, still continue to downside correction. However, they have a strong support in this level here. So as long as the uh, the market can hold on to this level, you know, Apple is still a uh, remain strong for the uh, future. The uh, Amazon, uh, as you can see, uh, the chart it looked uh, very weak since uh, April and it continued to go down and they break all the bottom here. So technically, the Amazon chart is very bearish and the company they saw a reduction in EPS for the first time since April 2015. So, uh, so this is the stock that you need to stay away and then people will continue to short it on the rally. Now let's take a look on the FB500 to see where we are. So as you can see the market is uh, since beginning uh, up uh, uh, the year coming down and then they uh, filed the bottom uh, at the February 24, 2022 and then they come back retest they hold up at buy zone and then they continue to push it back up. They couldn't go higher, so now they continue to go lower. So on Friday, the market had pushed it back down, but they have not break a low on the February 24 yet. So let's see the market be able to uh, buy back up before they come back and retest. The overall trend is still negative at this moment. So we should watch out for the level uh, support at 40, uh, uh, 81, 89, 4100 here. So that's a critical level that uh, the lie of the sand that we need to see that SB 500 be able to hold up or or they go deep delivered and then turn around. So technically, um, as you can see, the people are stuck again worry and you see 401k, your mutual fund that continue to nose die. Uh, since last quarter, they only dropped more than 10%. So this quarter that the people, they are really worried because uh, if the market continue to go down further and they can cause uh, more damage on your 401k. So a lot of people talk about uh, the recession. So um, are we in the recession yet? So the answer, uh, the easy answer which at this moment is no. The uh, recession is defined by two consecutive quarters of economic contraction, so we are not enter a recession yet. Uh, uh, furthermore, even though the economic strength in the first quarter, that doesn't mean that the recession is inevitable. There are many, uh, uh, many times that the uh, the when the U.S. had a standalone negative quarter. But the negative quarter uh, that were preceded by and followed by a positive quarter, and then that can avoid the recession. So it is entirely possible that we could avoid a second negative quarter and a recession if the market be able to find a support on and buy it back up. Okay, for a uh, uh, next quarter. Uh, so right now people attack. Again, worry because people that say sell in May and go away. So that's another thing that let's see this year, uh, the market will let you sell away, uh, sell in May and go away. So, uh, you know, uh, it depends. But at this moment, the market is still trying to defend the left line of support here. But, um, you know, and look at uh, in the past, on the 1974, uh, you know, and they, they, there was standalone contraction in the first quarter of 1994 when the real GDP, they were down about minus 3.4%. At 
and then they gain 1% in the second quarter. However, the economy slipped into the recession with the third quarter of uh, 2000, uh, 1,074 and the SB500 finished the year down nearly 30%. So right now, uh, if you compare to 1974, it's totally different. Because the corporate earnings is still remain strong, the unemployment is still remain low, and look at the gold price, as you can see that usually it, when you have to the recession, gold it will uh, go up. But gold has already gone up, now they are continuing to go down. So that's another indication that say that, you know, we are not in the recession yet. So the key important here is right now we have a high inflation. But inflation doesn't mean that we are going to recession. And next week we should watch out for uh, the Fed to announce uh, increasing on the interest rate. So it uh, depends how much they go to increase the interest rate to see that how seriously the economy it, um, um, uh, it can survive in the high inflation. So that will give you the hint for the next move on the stock market. Now let's take a look on the other industries to see where we are. First of all, let's take a look on the uh, NASDAQ. The NASDAQ it has heavily hit okay, to to uh, to the downside, they already dropped uh, more than twenty percent. So technically, uh, the NQ, uh, the Nasdaq is very weak. However, they are still hang around uh, in this level here. So uh, next week it, we start from the new one. Let's see how the Nasdaq is it, 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 it going to do at this level. If they be able to come back, then they have more chance for them to recover. Other than that. They will continue to put it down uh, to the downside here. Okay, so so we keep an eye on uh, uh, Wednesday when the Fed they will make a decision on the market. Okay, now let's take a look on the Dow. The Dow it also pulled back down. However, they are still much stronger compared to the S P five hundred and the Nasdaq. And you can see here, it's it still uh, in the upper uh, high here. They have not even tapped the low yet. So uh, again, let's see it, uh, what uh, the market is going to do next week. They will give you uh, much more clue for the, the month of May right there. If you look at the Russell 2000, it's kind of weak, but they are a little bit go deeper, but they are too choppy and hang tight to this level here. Okay, so... Uh, hopefully they are uh, not going to deal to break down and then they can find a support over here. Now let's take a look on the crude oil. The crude oil is um, still sideways choppy in the uh, uh, triangle formation here. So if they break out, go up, but the oil will continue to go higher. But if they drop below here, uh, they will continue to go lower. So oil price depends on the situation between the uh, political tension between the Ukraine and Russia and um, uh, a lot of stuff over there uh, that can cause a problem uh, for the uh, oil production as well as a, uh, a natural gas at the Russia they cut up the, gold, uh, the natural gas supply for the other two countries so the, you can see that the natural gas it continue uh, try to find a way to put it up to the upside um, now let's take a look on the uh, the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin is still uh, sideways, choppy here. But however, they still hang tight to the the divide on here. They have uh, not gone up, but they are not going down. So the only opportunity is they try to find a way to break out the downtrend line here to continue to push it back up. Ethereum it also uh, even they pull back down, but they don't make a low low. So Again, they will try to find a way to break out this one in the future to move up. Okay, now take a look on the 11 sector of the FB500 to see what happened. So the uh, material sector, after they run up right into the sell zone, pull back down support. They are still up and down here. As long as the momentum is still hold up to this line, above this line here, the, the, uh, the material sector is still... Uh, hang tight to the uh, upside. The uh, communication is one of the worst ones, as you can see here. 
let it continue to no die and continue to make it low high low low so the momentum is still in the bearish as you can see a lot of stock like netflix okay facebook uh, google um, uh, uh, too many of them uh, are still in trouble that's why you can see that uh, this sector is going nowhere okay look at netflix it continue to no die and nobody buy okay facebook it's a little bit better uh, but uh, they are and buy back up but they hit right into resistance so now let's see they'll be able to build a bay and give you another leg up in order to conform they'll be able to turn around okay uh, google as you can see it still a uh, job we after the break a uh, support here as you can see that google amazon they much more trouble as you can see here and continue to no die to the to the downside over here now let's take a look on the energy sector the energy sector is still uh, uh, hang tight to the upside momentum is still there uh, however they come back here so we have to watch out are they able to break out this level and continue if they fail to make this high here they can go lower over here before they can uh, build up momentum and go up again the financial sector it continue to uh, going down usually the high interest rate will help the bank uh, as you can see but it's not the case right now the uh, financial sector uh, they are still going down with the worry of un uh, unstable of the uh, the world of economy with, because the war and uh, uh, you know a lot of things happen in russia uh, and you can so uh, they uh, create a big mess for the financial sector as you can see they continue to have low high low low to the downside so we don't touch it until they be able to file the support and turn around they may file the support and buy back up but technically we're still in the downtrend the industrial sector it also uh, couldn't make it higher now they go lower so uh, we have some support here uh, let's see uh, what are they going to do at this level here but technically the check is still bearish okay and the technology definitely uh, it still continue to uh, put it to uh, to low high low low so uh, in the short term you can see that a lot of uh, problem here so we uh, have to be careful with a lot of technology talk because the next quarter earning a lot of them warning so uh, we have to see when are they going to be stabilized because as the interest rate continues to go higher they will cause damage to a lot of technology stock it's harder for them to borrow money and um, and then you can see the uh, the earning will be uh, affected the utility sector is also no dive here as you can see and then they continue to uh, push it down so avoid the stock in this sector at this moment right now the consumer stable one of the strongest one with the high inflation however they give you the bear information and continue make it the first low high and low low so technically they are in correction so you have to watch out for them to continue to get back to that below here before they can find the support the real estate it also get hit uh, because the interest rate so it's harder for people to buy a house with a low interest rate so as you can see this one will continue to head down until the support around 46 level here the uh, healthcare is also in trouble oh, even though uh, the china uh, they have more covid case but seem like the um, healthcare uh, vaccine talk to no die to the downside except uh, a couple of uh, good stuff like uh, uh, LELE okay they are still hang tight to the upside uh, MRK uh, that's the uh, COVID pill they do have this company to put it up to the upside right there um, if you look at the uh, XLY that's another one uh, consumer discretionary deal uh, job be in the downside so like the index more of them are just try to test the bottom here okay so this is the last line of uh, support this is a line of sand for many sectors so we have to monitor careful to see 
what are they going to do at this level here okay because if they fail to hold up this level then uh, we have to uh, 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 pay attention for that okay so let's see how the market is doing at this level next week and then we will go from there so this is a strong level of support for many uh, indices okay like fb 500 that's a strong one so we watch out for this level here to see they can hold on to it and rebound or they rebound and bow back more than well like. okay we don't know yet but uh, uh, we'll see after the fed meeting so next week it's important thing for you to pay attention on wednesday which is the fed they will announce the interest rate that will give you the face of the market for the month of may okay so um, let's stay tuned and as long as at this moment we are not in the recession yet so don't panic okay we may, we may have a high inflation but as long as we are not get into the recession the market is to find a way to put it back up okay so stay tuned and that's all i have for you uh, this week and let's see how the market lay out and then we go from there but right now it's a good time for you to stack day trading that's why in top navigators we don't want to buy the top okay and hold it at this moment we rather trade them in the short term we make money we get out and tomorrow we do it again so if you can do that consistently uh, that's a good time for you to play around with a day trading uh, future right now Okay, so thank you very much for watching and then I will see you during the week and update uh, if anything changed for you. Take care and uh, good luck to you uh, for the next week trading.